Hello everyone, this is Gear Up coming to you from the Venom Fang X channel. Today is a most remarkable day. I have stumbled upon the eighth wonder of the world. Her name is Ida, she's 47 million years old, and you're looking at one of our ancestors. She is, according to scientists, a direct relative. This is the presupposition here that evolution is correct, regardless of all the facts. Evolution, you go in to look for transitional creatures, and, and, and if you look hard enough, you'll find a transitional creature because you spin it to be a transitional creature. Just because it has thumbs, like ours, doesn't mean it's, it's, it's related to us. I mean, the, the designer who created the thumb, wouldn't you think he would give Ida Ida a thumb in order to climb trees like she's supposed to. She's a lemur. Okay, now get a load of this. I want you to be aware of neuro-linguistic programming here. So when you look at this picture, and this picture does not look like a human foot in any way, okay? This is so different from a human foot. Human foots don't have these long finger uh, bones here, these long toe bones, and this thumb off to the side. This and so do I. This is primate stuff. Okay, this is hanging from your feet. Okay, hanging from your feet. That's why God gave this little creature a thumb on its foot. Now pay attention to what he says here. With human characteristics. Human characteristics. So in other words, you look at something that is totally opposite of human, but then they tell you it has human characteristics and you're supposed to buy it. That's called neuro-linguistic programming. You know, will help us look. And then bring in the experts. Okay, right after the big lie, you bring in the expert. He, and, and remember, a doctor, okay, with a foreign accent. Anytime you have a doctor with a foreign accent, you know they're telling you the truth, right? Sister, I have not come across any book which says fact of evolution. All the books say theory of evolution. There's no book I've come across saying fact of evolution. Missing link, the primate that's at the root of our creation. And this is she. Now people can say, Okay, you say we're, we're, we're primates, like monkeys and apes, uh, and that we came from very uh, simple, generalized uh, mammals. Show us the link. The link, they would have said, until now, is missing. Did you hear that? The link, until now, is missing? You know, see, this is what I've been saying for, for years, that the atheists... Um, are standing on a, a sinking sand. Their links are not links at all. What Sir David Attenborough means by that is that little bastards like you have been claiming that our links are not links. And now we have another complete almost link that you cannot doubt seriously unless you lack any knowledge of science at all. Of course, you're going to doubt it. And neither is this one. But he seems to think that it is a link. It's a link because it's got a thumb and thumbnails. Just because it's got thumbnails doesn't mean it's a link. You know, just because it's got eyes doesn't mean it's, it's our relative. It's got teeth doesn't mean it's related to us. It, what it means is that there's a common designer. There is one designer for all of us. He designed all living things, including time and space. So it's just that simple. This... Say goodbye, never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. This is 
is just pure propaganda. This is nothing more than a well-orchestrated sale of a movie and a pitch, a godless, atheistic worldview pitch. This find was found in 1983 and hung on the wall. And some guy stumbles on it and then hides it for two years while they secretly prepare it for the mass media blitz. Like a Darren Brown uh, movie. They're going to prepare it, write the script, and then bam, hit the public with it. And sell books, t-shirts, and movies, and DVDs, and sell tickets to, to go see this thing. This is a money-making venture here. This is money-making venture. And you atheists out there, you, you, you make an issue out of people of faith actually selling a, a particular a DVD or something or, or, or asking for donations for their ministry? For so long. And look at this ministry, this ministry of natural selection, this ministry of propaganda, and they're making you buy it. And you're going to have to sit down and watch this show on TV with all of its propaganda and its, making, it's all of its media attention and all of its commercialization. You're going to have to endure the commercials to get a hold of this. Years ago, mounted and kept on a wall as artwork. Right. Norwegian paleontologist Jorn Hurum met a Jorn. with a promise of something special. Oh, what's been going on? Norwegian paleontologist Jorn Hurum met a Jorn. With a promise. Jorn. With a promise. Jorn. With a promise. Jorn. With a promise. Oh, we know the game and we're... The asking price a million dollars. <laughs> this is the moment he cast eyes on the anthropological equivalent of the Holy Grail. Oh. <laughs> this is the best oh. fossil and rarest fossil worldwide. The anthropological equivalent to the Holy Grail? The Holy Grail. I mean, I've been saying in my videos that atheism, natural selection, naturally, natural humanism, this whole evolutionary schema has become a church. It's become a religion. They have, they have literally building a church of humanism. Out of this. And this is their holy relic. They, these are holy relics. Okay, it's under glass. And you can go and worship this thing. You go and gaze upon it and look at your ancestry. Look at your ancestors. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. You're named her after his daughter. Oh. Meeting in secret over two years. A two year period. They've been scrutinizing this and picking at it and, 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 and possibly possibly altering it. Because these people are selling you a product. I mean they're selling you they're selling you on an idea here. Okay, and there are no peer reviews. No peer reviews, just BAM! Media Blitz! Well, I think I'm going to leave it there for the day. I will finish off this with part two coming soon, within uh, a few days. It should be up by Monday. Unfortunately, I need to go and finish off some university assignments. And tomorrow's my birthday, so I'll probably be busy all day. No, that was not a shameless plug for birthday congratulations, but feel free to. Feel free to send money and buy shirts for my site. And before you ask, yes, I am wearing velvet. We will get back to this absurdly obscene display of stupidity by Venom Fang X2 uh, in a couple of days. See you then. Also, there are 50 confirmed cases of swine flu in Australia, three of them in the town that I'm currently in. So I guess it's mask time.